Today we're going through TikTok's most popular style hacks, starting with three different ways to crop your oversized t-shirts. Here is the first hack on how to crop your oversized tee that I saw on TikTok. You're going to grab both sides of your t-shirt and you're going to twist them like this. And then you're going to tuck each side underneath your bra. So one, twist and two. How's it look? Feels pretty secure. Here's how it looks from the side. I think this turned out better than I thought. What do you think? The next crop hack is to grab your t-shirt, bring it to the front like this and twist it. And then you're going to tie a knot. So you put it around like that. You bring it through the loop, bring the end through the loop you just made. like this and then you take this end and you put it around the bun to hide it like that okay that is the snail knot looks like this again it's very secure this is it from the side this is it from the back I would fold over your ends like this, so it looks better. Okay, the last crop hack for an oversized t-shirt is to grab your t-shirt like this, split it into two, and then tie a knot with it like that, and then put it underneath like this. This is what I normally used to know how to do. Out of all of them, this one feels the least secure for me right now. But how does it look? It's definitely the most simple. Okay, this next hack, and I can't believe it actually worked, is on how to fold your t-shirts really quickly like this. So you're going to grab the t-shirt here, which is not at the very edge where the sleeve starts and not at the collar, just slightly in the middle. You're going to pinch it with your index finger and your thumb. Then you're going to come halfway down the t-shirt right here, parallel with this hand, and you're going to pinch it here. Then you're going to grab this, t this part of the t-shirt, bring it all the way down to the bottom, and pinch it with the bottom of the t-shirt. And this hand, the left hand where you have it holding, you're going to pull through, like this, okay? Then you're going to shake it, Going to put it down like this oh, shake it all through put it down like this and then fold it over like that and there you have it you just folded the t-shirt in less than a minute and once you get a hang of it you can do it really fast this next half is on how to roll up your jeans which is very useful for the summertime usually people roll up once and then roll up a second time. The trick is to actually tuck it in on the inside first. Like this. Then you're going to grab the part that you just tucked in and then you're going to flip it over. Like that. The nice thing about this is that it looks thinner and has a nice finished edge. So it looks like you just folded it up once. Here you can see the difference between rolling it up twice the regular way and using the TikTok hack. Okay, this next hack is on how to do the perfect messy bun. I mean, it's weird to do perfect and messy at the same time, but so to start off by making a ponytail. I don't like to make very tight ponytails because I get headaches, so hopefully this still works. Then you grab your ponytail and you kind of make a mushroom around it like this. You kind of bunch it around like that.
and you secure it with another elastic band. I'm using the thin rubbery ones. Okay. Then you grab the excess hair and you twist it like this. And then you twist it again around your bun. And then you secure the end of your ponytail with a bobby pin. I'm going to grab two bobby pins because I don't trust one. Okay, so I don't have a mirror. How does it look? Is this a perfect messy bun? I'm gonna go look. So I just checked and I think it's cute. It's not as messy as I like my buns to be, but it works. <laughs> the next hack is on how to easily tie a nice bow like this instead of a bow like that. You're going to start off by tying a knot how you normally would. One end goes over the other, one goes through the hole, and then you pull. Here, you're going to take the end that came from the top, you're going to take two fingers, put it over your fingers like this, and up, you're going to make the loop that's going to be on this side, like this. Keep your fingers there. You can use your thumb to hold this end here. Then you're going to take the bottom end, fold it into a loop also, and you're going to put it through the hole where your fingers are right now, like that. And then you're going to grab both ends and pull at them at the same time, and you can adjust it as you need. Okay, and there you have a bow. This one took me a few tries, but it's very simple once you get the hang of it. This hack is on how to get the perfect cute bunny ears that look like this instead of like that. I have my shirt buttoned up to this point here. What I'm going to do is separate the two ends like this. And as you can see here, I have a hole between my last button that's buttoned and the button above that. I'm going to take the end of my shirt in my left hand and pull, put it through the loop here. And when I put it through the loop, I'm creating another loop with my hand like that. Then I'm going to take the other end of my shirt and put it through this loop here. I pull on both ends and that's it. You have your bunny ears. Super easy and super cute. Do you know what this is? No, it's not a pillow or a purse. This is actually a hoodie. And the next hack is on how to fold your hoodies like this. It's super easy. You're going to lay the hoodie down on a flat surface. Then you're going to fold the sleeves in. That's one sleeve. And that's the second sleeve. Now you're going to fold in each side so that they meet halfway. So that's one side. And that's the second side. Now you're going to fold from the bottom up twice. So that's once. And that's twice. And then to finish off, you're going to take the hood and you're going to fold, put the hoodie inside of it, like this. And there you go. There's your hoodie. I guess you could use it as a pillow if you wanted to. This is actually really comfortable. Good night.